passionate I work hard so when it pop it ain't on accident Yeah I'm always on go better Hello loves, welcome back to the channel. So this video is making me really, really happy. I am so happy to bring you guys this Dia and Co video. So if you are like, you know, you've been watching me for years. When I first started, I would say about 2016-ish was my first time hearing about Dia. And I had reached out to them, I believe. Um, and they were one of the first people to sponsor my channel. So, you know, we have a long-standing relationship. So back then, um, Dia and Co. was known for styling. Personal styling for plus-size women. And let me mention, <laughs> sizes 14 to 32. And they also have 12s. I've seen 12s um, with a few items as well. So I'll say 12 to 32, okay? Um, I think that is amazing first of all we are in a time i guess i'll say where plus size stops at 3x and a size 20 for most brands so for dia and co to be true to plus size and you know um just really get it right it really sits right with my heart okay yeah when i first heard of dia and co it was personal styling right so they would send me a box i would look at the items um, and at that time, you would decide whether or not you liked the box and you liked the items. Whatever you didn't like, you would send it back. Whatever you did like, you would keep it. Okay, so now they actually have a store, a shop, right? So now you can go on the website and just shop plus size clothing, which is pretty cool because not all the time. Sometimes people have their own style and they don't really want to be styled personally um, or personal style. Yeah, I said it right. Style personally. <laughs> um, and sometimes we just want to go shop and just see items and options. So I'm one of those people where I love to style myself because I feel like I got my style down pat. So with that being said, that does not mean that you still can't get styled because Dia & Co. still offers personal styling. They even offer the option for you to go on the site, pick out one item and have them style like that particular item. So if you do want the styling option, it's a $20 fee. You know, you pay $20, you receive a box. You don't pay for anything you don't want. So if you don't want it, you send it back. But if you do decide to keep one or two items, you decide you get that $20 back. Sorry. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this haul. I am going to do a style haul-ish, you know, lookbook haul-ish. But um, I have about four outfits here from Dia and Co. One item I did add, like, of course, I'm adding the shoes and I'm adding, like, one top, just one top. But other than that, all the clothing is Dia and Co. And I did partner with Dia & Co. to bring you this video. And I'll have the links down below. So be sure to check it out. And like I said, sizes 14 to 32 is amazing. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and get into it. So this first outfit here, y'all know I love pantsuits. And I don't have anything in this color. Okay. So I was really excited to try this. Now let me tell you about this blazer. Um, let me tell you about the outfit first. All right. So I decided to take a pantsuit and pair it with a fun print shirt. Um, I think this was really spring and summery. And then pair it with an even brighter, funner color, um, more fun color shoe. So I put a yellow shoe on to bring out the yellow in the print of the top. And then I just paired it with a nude purse. So let me sit that down. So the pants are basically, you do have stretch in the blazer and in the pants. It's a thick, like con not constricted, but a thick quality um pant and blazer they are everything was separate so with the blazer i got a 3x and i'm fine with that you guys know i hate when i don't have any like wrap around and the blazer kind of just goes like that right so i love that this one falls really really nicely and it feels so high quality so then i also paired it with this top now this top is a 1x so it dis <laughs> doesn't doesn't fit me okay um my boobs are like smushed like from what you see you probably see it does fit a little but i couldn't wear this because my boobs are like smushed in here so i did just go ahead and tuck it into the trouser so let's go ahead and get i just really wanted to try the top let's go ahead and get into the trouser so i got these in a 24 and they do have pockets they have belt loops i have my remote in there they come up to a nice rise i love these pants I don't feel constricted. I feel like I can bend, run, jog, whatever, <laughs> do whatever I need to do. Um, I will say I would probably wear a belt. And I also will say I could have probably got away with the 22. And it probably would have just stayed up as a 22. But I do feel like I have a little more room in the waist here. But other than that, I 
really really love this pantsuit this pant set cohort whatever you want to call it definitely keeping this around um and even if i do you know lose weight in the waist or the stomach area um i would definitely keep these and get them tailored that's that's that on that okay so coming around to the back um this is what it looks like comes up again to a nice rise i really really love this i don't know i'm just in love i love the colors i love how i paired it i think this is a perfect perfect outfit brunch spring meeting summer meeting whatever and it doesn't feel hot i love this outfit it's so comfortable it's so pretty it's like casual cute kind of um so for this one i just decided to go with a strappy heel a uh, blue jean black and white shirt um it has a pocket has a people on the back that I'll show you and then I just decided to pair it with this little bucket bag just to keep it simple and clean I actually think this would look really cute with the look I have going on my face right now but also with the red lip I think that would be really really pretty let's get into these jeans let me say Dia and Co actually I think I still have those jeans um when I first got styled I got a pair of like five button jeans love them they fit so nicely and then i also got a pair of like i think they were slink jeans one button just so comfortable they were a nice dark blue wash they didn't bleed when i washed them so i really really know that dia does jeans really good so um yeah that's this jean here which i'll untuck this and you know sit this down so you guys can get the full effect so so the jeans come to a really nice rise they have a great stretch in them they do have belt loops pockets like it's a true jean really soft really comfortable just looks like that and yeah they look really nice on they even have like a red embroidery right there with the logo real cute so while we're back here let's look at the actual shirt so you do have like that split in the bottom of the shirt and then a peephole at the top now this is cute too but i honestly like the whole idea of having one side tucked in like i really like that it gives it a little more edge but yeah i think it just gives it a little more edge and honestly you can tuck the whole thing in and just have it like kind of gathering at the waist pull it out after you tuck it in a little bit and have it gather um and maybe like a red belt or like a design belt um not a design but like a silver or gold and just have that on have this tucked in have your purse your shades i think this is so so cute what's a lookbook a styling haul without something a little bit raunchy okay but no seriously um i just wanted to go some for something um more sexy you know a little more out there um as i think the other two looks were a little covered or just you know it's not conservative it's just casual so i was looking for something a little more sexy so i did pull out this blue top paired it with this like gray wash it's called a compression jacket never in all my years have i heard of a compression jacket it's like nah so yeah this is a compression jacket i did get it in a size 24 but i do feel like it's dipping in the back a little too low for my liking the front i really like how the front looks it doesn't look that bad i just paired it with um this like I call it like a milky nude shoe um a mauvey milky nude uh found these randomly one day um in the mall i don't even remember but i know i was supposed to be going to a strip club <laughs> for kenesha's birthday in january and i didn't have any shoes so yeah i just picked these up so then i just paired it with like a new purse this is the purse that i'm currently wearing right now i actually did a what's in my bag no i did a haul oh, unboxing on this i couldn't get it right i did an unboxing on this on my channel so yeah that's this um like i said i feel like the jean or the jagging looks really good in the front but i do feel like the back kind of dips too low for my liking so yeah that's the back of this jagging here all right so this is the last look now you guys know i've been working out in my how about to say my basement i don't have a basement my garage honey so yeah i've been looking for a lot of sports bras leggings joggers shorts just a bunch of active wear so um i have like a nice collection i think so yeah i'm happy to add to it love this sports bra because i don't have anything like it i don't have a pink do i 
Oh, Delory bought me one for Christmas, but it's a light pink. But I love this like more deep bubblegum popcorn. Popcorn. Anyways, bubblegum um, type of pink. And yeah, so I really like this. Um, it does have a mesh like triangle detail that I'll show you in a minute. And then I just paired it with the joggers now. They also have like... They have a lot of activewear, so I really wanted to try it. And I am, a, like I said, a fiend for activewear, loungewear, whatever. So I really like these. Does have like this net detail on the side. And again, I just paired it with some sneakers. Um, I wouldn't necessarily work out these sneakers because they make a weird sound. Oh, I don't want to do it. Anywho, they make a weird sound. And then on the toe part, they are a little more snug. So I wouldn't work out in these. I would work out in my feet lots, honey. But these are Vapor Max if you're wondering. Um, and then, yeah, I just have like a clear book bag because this is more like a, I said workout, going hiking, jogging, whatever type of thing. So I just put like a clear backpack, uh, like a towel to wipe your sweat and some water bottles, you know, prop it up, right? Um, and then this is the back. So the joggers come up really, really high, which I like. Um, and then the sports bra does have great coverage. This is probably one of the best as far as coverage sports bras that I've seen. And then you do have this mesh sheer detail here. So I really, really like that. And this is tall girl friendly. The joggers come down. I did pull them up, but they do come down. Um, and like I said, they come up really high. So they're definitely tall girl friendly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Dia and Co haul. Again, I'll have all the links to these items down below along with the link to the website itself. Um, and again, I did partner with Dia and Co to bring you this video. Um, they go from again, a size and I know I keep saying again, but again, a size 14 to 32. Like that is so crazy. And they also, like I said, sometimes they have 12. So, um, I really appreciate a true plus size company. Um, I think the prices are reasonable for the quality that you are receiving. Uh, again, I'll have everything linked down below. So be sure to check out the links. And I think that's pretty much it. Let me know which was your favorite outfit. Would you rock any of them, etc., etc.